Hi, I'm Jim Cook, brewer and founder of Sam Adams, and you're watching Valley Social TV. <laughs> Is there a parent company or is it just Sam? No, no, it's us. We are, you are a small, it. independent craft brewer. We're not part of some big intergalactic oh, yeah. conglomerate. Yeah. It's yeah. just Sam Adams and we make Sam Adams beer. Now, Ohio, Massachusetts, and now Pennsylvania, right? Yes. That's where you are. Yeah. What do you think about some of these companies that think, wow, we could do this in Mexico? Well. We're an American company. I wouldn't have named it Samuel Adams if I didn't want an assertively American name on it. And Sam Adams was this wonderful patriot who was also a brewer who established political independence. And I wanted Sam Adams, the beer, to establish beer independence for Americans so we wouldn't have to drink foreign beer. We could get great, flavorful beer brewed right here in the Lehigh Valley. And, the, and Pennsylvania, what better place? Just uh, an hour north of Philly. Yeah, Pennsylvania has really been historically uh, one of the epicenters of America's brewing tradition, partly because of all the Germans who settled in this area and brought with them their, their brewing skills, just like my great, great, great grandfather who came from Germany as a brewer in the 1840s and every oldest son in my family for six generations has been a brewer. So I'm very happy to keep making beer. I, I mean, your story just, it, it keeps getting better. It's really, at the end of the day, it's a marketer's dream in that, not, not only in, in the independence of it, the texture of it, the history of it, uh, you talk about independence. Uh, share with people watching the story, why Sam and not John Adams? Because oh. that's a question I've heard you answer before, but I love the answer. Yeah, well, Samuel Adams was the revolutionary. He was the radical who, you know, provoked the British into the Boston Massacre, who uh, organized the Sons of Liberty, who instigated the Boston Tea Party. He was the first of the founding fathers to believe in America as an independent country with its own unique destiny. And he eventually radicalized his cousin John, Thomas Jefferson, Ben Franklin, George Washington, and I wanted my beer to create that same independence in brewing in the United States. And today, there are over a thousand craft brewers in America making some of the best beers in the world. Hi, I'm Jim Cook, brewer and founder of Sam Adams, and don't miss Ken Matthews on Valley Social TV. So well, let me ask you this, when did you start drinking beer this morning? Um, well, I had my first beer uh, a <laughs> little bit before seven this that's morning. Not, that's not typical corporate America. <laughs> it's not? <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I'm a lucky guy. So I, I'll yeah. sit going up in the main office. Well, I, I had my first beer at seven in the morning. Well, I still uh, taste a sample of every single batch of Sam Adams. Right. And my palate is freshest like yeah. around 10 in the morning. So usually right. by 10 in the morning, I've had at least a dozen beers. Yeah, and I notice you don't follow it. And it's it. work, work, work. It Sometimes is. I notice that. I have that. to work in the afternoon and I have another that. dozen I beers. I can see the tension running through your body now. But, you uh, know, and it's funny because actually <laughs> among the most intense and stressful <laughs> times is tasting really mindfully and yes. really focus on all the complex flavors and aromas that you get in a great beer. It's really very stressful. Yeah, the cleanliness of the yeast. Yeah, I mean, to taste this beer, I was focused on different elements, and um, one of the things that came through was how active and vigorous and clean the yeast was during fermentation. The freshness of the hops. Yeah, well, that sometimes, you know, they're added uh, a little bit too late, sometimes they're added a little too early. They're very, 
very slight batch to batch variations and it's my job as, as the person who knows this beer and who loves it more than anybody else to make sure that every batch meets my standards. Do you ever rate the jigginess of a beer? No. Um, no, we've rated things that have funny names like Fuggles. Fuggles? What is the Fuggle of a beer? Uh, the Fuggle of a beer is the earthy hop character that comes from a particular hop okay. grown in East Kent in England. And it has an earthy, herbal, fresh cut cigar kind of character. I'm thinking manly. It's very I'm thinking manly. manly. I'm thinking uh, when you're tasting the, the fuggle, that beer is man enough. Oh yeah, when you're getting fuggled, yeah. that is very manly. I am feel I'm feeling I'm more of a man just for talking to you about fuggling. Yeah, we should actually get you a nice basket of those hops and you could yes. really inhale the aroma and get totally fuggled. Hi, I'm Jim Cook, brewer and founder of Sam Adams, and don't miss Ken Matthews on Valley Social TV. You know, I made five gallon batches in my kitchen by myself. Right. I can't run this brewery without great people. And that's one of the reasons that we bought this brewery. It wasn't just the bricks and the brew kettles. It right. was the quality of the people that you get here mm -hmm. in the Lehigh Valley. They're craftsmen, they're passionate, they're committed to doing a good job every day and they want to be proud of their product. And, and I hope that uh, they will have the same pride in this product that I do. But you really had a nice fit here coming yeah. to the valley with this with this oh. plant or this brewery. This is very close to yeah. the tradition and the technique that's already been established by Sam Adams. So you yeah. really, yeah. this was a, a great fit for you, wasn't it? Uh, it's a perfect brewery for us because it's set up for traditional brewing yes. processes with longer brewing and aging times. It's not set up for mass production, which is why you know it went through so many owners and almost closed. So yep. we were very happy to be able to rescue one of the last truly traditional breweries. What do you say when people come in and, and say to you, um, Jim, we can we can modernize, we can turn out more if we just if we just take these eight people off this one particular part of the process and we put a big fancy computer, you can just press a button to it. What, button? And what do you what do you tell those people? Quality is more important than quantity, and for us, we can never be you know big and efficient like the big brewers. They are great at it. They are world class you know brewers of those kinds of beers. And that's what most people like, and that's fine. I, you know, I exist as a very small craft brewer. We have less than 1% of the market in the United States, so we're always going to be small. And that's okay by me. It seems like you have more, though, i got to tell you. Uh, we've made a bigger yeah. impact. Your little than... pebble has made a lot of ripples. Yes. You've made a big splash for that 1%. Yeah, we've showed people that a small independent brewer like Sam Adams can make some of the best beer in the world right here in the Lehigh Valley. That's surprising to people that Americans yes. today, American craft brewers like Sam Adams are making the best beer in the world. And frankly, we're not alone. There's some great craft brewers here in this area. Mm -hmm. We've got Weyerbacher, we've got Trogues, we've got Carol Stout, we've got Victory. They are all making truly world-class beers, and I'm proud to be part of that community of brewers. Hi, I'm Jim Cook, brewer and founder of Sam Adams.
when you were growing up, what did you talk about at the dinner table? Was it all beer talk, or was there were there some other topics that you shared with your parents and, and with your brothers that helped define Jim Cook? Was it the good core Americana values? Um, well, I didn't know at the time, but uh, we did have beer. My, I don't know if it's a core Americana value, but I had my first beer when I was four. So hmm. I don't know why I had to wait that long either, but my dad yeah. was very strict. Yeah. Interesting, that's early. When I told my father, who was a brewmaster, that I was going to start Sam Adams and start a small brewery, right. he told me... Because uh, uh, I thought I was going to get like a warm embrace. He told me, Jim, you've done a lot of stupid things in your life, but this is about the dumbest. So, um, and what I did was, you know, what I wanted to do because it was my own life and I wanted to start Sam Adams and bring back right. the family brewing tradition that he thought was totally lost. You're the oldest son, is that correct? Yes. Now, uh, you have sons, you have, how big is your family? Um, I have four children, three daughters and a son. Wow. I'll give you a thought as okay. a father, because my daughter just, I have two older kids and two younger ones, my daughter right. just turned 12, and I realized at the age of 12 that I probably spent 75% of the time in her life that I'm going to spend with her. Wow, good stuff. Think about that. So when she wants to spend, or your kids want to spend time with you, remember that, that they will soon be gone.